Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Boos. So we were doing the topic of lattice and this is the third video on lattice. So in the first two videos I have told, you, told about the partially ordered set and in the second video I told about the how to draw a haze diagram. So I am sure that now you will be able to draw any haze diagram. So let's move on to the third video. And this video will focus on two important definitions, that is maximal and minimal elements, right? So let us first understand what are the maximal elements. So a maximal element means an element of a post set is called maximal if it is not less than any element of the post set, right? So simply maximal means that it should be the greatest among all the elements of the post set. In other words, we can also say that an element B in S is called maximal if it is if no element of S strictly succeeds B, right? And now let's come to the definition of minimal elements. Minimal element means an element of a poset is called minimal if it is not greater than any element of the poset. That means when we are talking about the maximal element, we are saying that no element should be greater than that element. And when we are talking about a minimal element, minimal element means that no element should be less than that element, right? So in other words, we can also say that an element A in S is called the minimal element if there is no element B in S such that B is less than A, right? So when any element satisfies this inequality, that means A will be called minimal because B is not less than that element. In other words, maximal element is the greatest element in the poset and minimal element is the lowest element in the, the least element in the poset. Right? So now let's understand these definitions with the help of some examples of haze diagram. And this important remark will help you to allocate the maximal and the minimal elements in the haze diagram. So the first remark says that the top and the bottom elements in the haze diagram are always the maximal and the minimal elements. So whenever in a haze diagram we are searching for maximal and minimal elements. So the maximal element always lies at the top and the minimal element always lies at the bottom. Then the second remark says that maximal and minimal elements need not be unique. That means there can be more than one maximal and minimal element. Right. So let us see these examples and understand these definitions more clearly. So let's go to the first example. So this is a haze diagram and I'll, if you have gone through my second video, then you are familiar that in a haze diagram we maintain a hierarchy. We go from bottom to top. So here according to this haze diagram, B is at the lowest level. Then in the second level we have the element B. And at the top level, we have two elements A and C. That means according to the hierarchy, B is the lowest element and A and C are lying at the top. So that means they are the greatest elements. So if I have to locate the maximal and the minimal elements, so according to the remark, the maximal element always lies at the top and the minimal element always lies at the bottom. So if I look at the bottom, there is only one element there. So the minimal element will become B. And the top element, since A and C are not joined, so that means they are not related to each other. So that means A and C both are the maximal elements, right? Because they are lying at the very top. There are no more elements greater than these elements. So for this particular haze diagram, A and C will become the maximal elements and the minimal elements will become D, right? Let's move on to the next example and again let's see which are the maximal and the minimal elements. So in this haze diagram again you will see the hierarchy. So you will find that A and B they are lying at the below positions right. So they are the lowest elements. Then you can see that at the next level we have the two elements C and D and at the top level we have E and S. So in this diagram, if I have to check for the maximal element, so you will easily tell me that both E and F, since they are at the topmost positions and no other element is further beyond this, so 
So the maximal elements are E and F. And if I look at the bottom positions of this phase diagram, then A and B, they are lying below and A and B will be the minimal elements. So the maximal elements are E and F and the minimal elements are A and B. Let's check out the next example. So in the next example, you will find, so if I again check the hierarchy, A and B, they lie below. Then we have C and D are occupying the same levels. Then in the next level, we have E and G. And then at the top level, we have F and H. Right? So in this case diagram, if I have to locate for the maximal elements, what will I do? I will see which elements are lying at the very top positions. So you can see that F and H both are lying at the top positions and no further element is beyond this. So the maximal elements will become F and H. Now let us search for the minimal elements. The minimal elements, they lie towards the bottom. So you can see that A and B both are lying at the bottom position. So A and B both are minimal elements. But further, you can also see that there is nothing beyond D. So this, this particular structure is ending at D. So D is also a minimal element here, right? So in this case, A, B and D, all the three elements will serve as minimal elements and F and H, they will serve as the maximal elements, right? Okay. Let us search for the next example. Now here, again according to the hierarchy, F is lying at the bottom. And in the next level, we have D and E. In the next level, we have C. And in the next level, we have A and B. So I think you can clearly see that the minimal element is F and the maximal elements are A and B. Right. So next, let's come to the next exercise. Yeah. So this is a very interesting problem. So you can see there are three dots, A, B and C. And all the three dots, they are lying at the same level. So if you think which are the maximal and the minimal elements, so you can see that nothing is beyond this. So they both, all the three will serve as the maximal elements. And similarly, nothing is beyond this, below this, right? So that means A, B, C also serves as the minimal elements. So for this particular case, all the three elements, A, B, C, they serve as maximal elements also and they serve as minimal elements. Right? Okay. Let's see the next exercise. So this is a haze diagram where one is at the lowest level. Then we have 5 and 2. And then in the next level we have 25, 10 and 4. In the next level we have 50 and 20. And in the next level we have 100. Right? So this is a very clear haze diagram. So you can see that one is at the below position, lowest level. So one is the minimal element and 100 lies at the top position. So 100 is the maximal element. Right? Okay. Let's see the next exercise. So you can do these exercises on your own and you can check the answers. The answers are already given in the video. So you can do them on your own. And you can check on the answers after doing them. So I'm just displaying them here. Okay. And then let's come to the next exercise. So we have a post set of non-negative real numbers with the usual partial order less than or equal to. That means we are talking about non-negative real numbers. So non-negative real numbers will start from 0, 1, 2, 3. So it is from 0, right? to the set infinity, all the numbers between 0 and infinity. So now here the partial order is less than equal to. So in this case, if I talk about the minimal element, so everything is starting from 0. So 0 becomes the minimal element. And since infinity, there is no number at the top level, because any number you choose, you will always get a higher number than that. So there are no maximal elements in this set. So in the set of non-negative real numbers, 0 will become the minimal element and there are no maximal elements in this set. Right? Let's take another example. The coset Z. So Z is the set of integers with usual partial order less than equal to. So that means this is the set that works between minus infinity and plus infinity. So in this case, 
if you check for the lowest element there is no lowest element because whenever you choose wherever you select a lower element you will get a further lower element at that because it is extending till minus infinity so that means there are no minimal element here and similarly if i talk about the maximal element whichever element you will choose it for maximal you will always get a higher number than that which is maximal than that so that means in the set z with the usual partial order less than equal to there are no minimal and there are no maximal element right so in a nutshell in a haze diagram you will always search for the minimal and maximal elements at the top level maximal elements at the top and the minimal elements at the lower level right so i also gave you one remark that these elements are not unique in nature that means they are never uh, one element right unique means only one so if i check these examples if i give you this example if i uh, look at this haze diagram so let me mark this as a let me mark this as b c and d So if you check here, C and D are maximal elements, so they are not unique in nature, right? So that is why we say that the maximal. And similarly, if I draw the haze diagram in this way, if I say this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D, so again you can see that there are two minimal elements, so they are not unique, right? So maximal and minimal elements they are not unique in nature. So this is very very important, right? So that's all with this video. in the next video we will talk about the minimum and maximum elements and i'll also tell you the difference between all these four elements so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updated videos thank you so much have a nice day and believe in yourself you will always succeed